Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I'm going to tell you the two mistakes that you will make in your upcoming book or that you've already made in your book that's already out because this is something everybody does especially on their first second or third book before it finally sinks in and they realize oh this is something I should probably stop doing boom that was probably one of the best introductions I've ever done on a video let's just be freaking real here Ugh, it's so hot I feel like I am sweating like a porn star in a sauna after a eight-hour shoot under hot lights in 100 degree weather in a place where they had no running water yes that's exactly how hot and humid it is right now that's what we're gonna go with here here we go what are the two things that are gonna fucking ruin my book that you keep talking about first is your introduction nobody fucking cares yet okay if this is your first book even if it's your second book, nobody fucking cares this much about the backstory of the book, about how you wrote the book, what you were feeling like when you wrote the book, just really anything about you as a person. Nobody gives a shit yet. The only time anyone gives two shits about the actual personality of a writer is after their books are already selling a ton of copies after they have a fan base at that point motherfuckers want to know what you had for breakfast like what your stool looks like everything like they want to know everything about you but in the beginning nobody gives a shit so don't put so much time into these ridiculously long introductions because nobody fucking cares less is more be mysterious. Let them try to piece it together through your work. Especially with a poetry book. You're giving someone a book of poetry. Let them fucking, like, try to fucking Agatha Christie their way through your poems. And figure out a little bit about you. Instead of fucking, like, they're not going to buy the cow if they get the milk for free. You know? So why give everything away in the introduction? It's the same thing like I was talking about here. I'll put it here. Boom. The thing about poetry readings, don't go up there and talk about your poem for 20 minutes and then read a 45 second poem. All your good lines were in the fucking introduction you gave it. Now your poem is fucking useless, is fucking, I don't know, what is it, tits on the back of a bull? Is that how things go? I don't know, whatever. Cliches, am I right? Okay, so that's one. If you insist on having an introduction of some kind, have somebody else write your fucking introduction. Somebody whose name means something. If their name doesn't mean anything, then don't ask them to write the introduction. If their qualifications don't matter, don't ask them to write the introduction. The only reason why someone else should write the introduction is to sell other people on the fact that you're a big deal. Okay? So if you can't find someone to do that, then do not fucking do that. It's fucking try hard and it looks just amateurish. Like, think of this. How many of your favorite books that you have? Like, let's go through your bookshelf. Let's, let's go through. And if we're talking poetry here, and this happens in fucking goddamn fiction too, guys. It fucking does. And if, I, if you feel like I'm calling you out, then maybe there's a reason why you feel that way. So listen to the words that are coming out of my fucking mouth now, okay? Go to your bookshelf. Pick out your favorite books. See if there's an introduction, if at all. If there is, is it actually about the author? Is it about the making of the book? What is it about? Okay? Is there a foreword? Is there a preface? What are all these fucking things? Okay? And then once you figure all of that out, if those things are all there, is that author somebody who has a fan base that would actually give a shit about this stuff? Okay? Now, a lot of you are going to find a book of poetry 
that does not have an introduction in it. Some of you might even find books of fiction that do not have introductions in them. Why? Because they're not fucking important. Why? Because either the fucking person who wrote it isn't a big deal yet, or they are a big deal and this book came out when they weren't a big deal. Or the fucking author or the poet decided, I want my work to speak for itself, and I don't want to have to sit here and try to convince somebody how special I am. Because here's the fucking newsflash. You're not. You're not special. Yet. You have to fucking earn that shit. You don't get to just become because you're an artist suddenly. Okay? That grows. So, sorry for the tough love here, guys. Here's the next thing. The next thing we're going to talk about is the author bio. Actually, this is going to go... I'm going to talk a little bit more about the introduction, too. Let me tell you another thing not to do in your introduction. And this goes with the author bio, too. Do not sell yourself short. I know I just told you you're not special, and I'm still right about that. You're not. But the idea is to make the reader think you are. Make the publisher think you are. Make whoever is picking up that book think you are. So what are we not going to do in our introduction? Stumble all over ourselves thanking the person reading this book. Okay? They they already paid you. Okay? Like, you've already given them the thing they paid money for. If the people are only buying your book because they look at you as a charity case, they're not going to read your book anyway. So putting that thank you in their form, they're never even going to see that because they will not open that book. It will just be, oh, look at this poor fucking thing. Here, I'll give you 10 bucks for your fucking book. Book goes in, up on a shelf, maybe a white elephant gift in three years for somebody else. Okay? So do not do that. It makes you look fucking unprofessional. It makes you look like a fucking amateur. Don't fucking do it. The next thing, and this was originally what the second thing is, is your author bio. Your author bio doesn't have to be super fancy. It doesn't have to be crazy. Again, it's supposed to be in third person, but we all know that you're writing it. Whatever. Do not tell people that you have no business writing a book. Okay? I don't know why, but a lot of new writers feel the need to let people know, I have absolutely no accomplishments. And here's my author photo. I've done nothing of note any time in my life, ever. I understand the idea of wanting to come off as a fucking edgelord of some kind in your author bio. Don't do it there. Be the edgelord in your fucking work. Make people read your poetry and go, God damn, this motherfucker's hardcore. This motherfucker's crazy. Don't do it in the bio, because guess what the bio's for? The bio is for people who are reviewing your book. They're going to look at that so they could write their piece about you. It's for industry people to find out a little bit about you. See if there's anything worth selling out of your actual fucking existence. And people just seeing, oh, this book looks interesting. I wonder who wrote it. Let me see. And have this little blurb. Blip. This person is this blah blah lives here um, if you've won any awards put it in there if you haven't don't draw attention to the fact that you've never fucking done anything it's just it's common fucking sense do not do this because as soon as you say you've done nothing you're basically trying to not sell someone the book you're trying to unsell them on the idea that they already picked your book up off a bookcase at a bookstore I can't remember what the fucking actual quote was or the stats were, but there was this these numbers that came out that was like um, a book in a bookstore on a bookshelf has like 0.3% chance of someone picking it up off the shelf and looking at it, like looking at the cover. From there, there's like a 0.6 or... Or something stupid percent 
of and some of you are going out oh, 0.6 those these are really low percentages i'm sure i'm fucking these numbers up but help me out on the scope guys understand this that six percent of people will actually like flip through the book and look at it okay and from there the average time someone spends looking at a book is six seconds before they put it back on the shelf six seconds now in that six seconds do you want to tell somebody that they should not buy your book because you are not qualified to write it absolutely not so make your bio professional be an edgelord in your fucking work do not even fucking do an introduction I don't even think people should fucking do introductions if you need to pre-sell someone on your work maybe it's not going to work and if you're ever going to have an introduction have somebody do the forward for you who's worth a damn whose name or qualifications bring something to the table that you don't have okay if you cannot do that do not have an introduction in your book because all you're going to do is make yourself sound ridiculous and then please don't fucking thank people for picking up your book and don't talk about how like I never thought I'd be able to write a book and I'm just so like oh I'm gushing the fact that this actually happened blah 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 it just makes you look like you shouldn't have been doing it in the first place okay we only have a small number of seconds to fucking persuade anyone to be interested in reading our shit so the last thing you want to do is fucking push someone off okay so with that said everybody keep buying the books at poetic anarchy press they're great type hard everybody if you have any questions about anything leave them in the comments below or send them to me i hate mattwall gmail.com watch one of these videos that pops up and i will talk to you all later i just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible anarchy crew and my followers on patreon i appreciate the hell out of you guys thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible you guys are awesome and if you'd like to join the crew of the anarchy crew just hit the join button beneath this video and if you'd like to become a member of my patreon you can run over to the link down below to do that as well thank you